Well, in the market, we have uh, two types of explanation. Okay, the first one, I will show you the ingredient out. After we go inside, you will see the whole inside. Okay. What we call this place, the British market. Okay. So, in the old time, our grandfather had not a hospital in Africa. If uh, somebody is ill, he come to see the Godo place. The Godo place take, he do a consultation. After he invite the person to buy the ingredient here, he do a medicine for you. So here is like a traditional pharmacy. Okay. For example, you have the, the spine of a snake boa. Okay. People are wary to dancing in a traditional music. But in a, a, in a medicine, uh, the Vodou priest use it to cure a rheumatism. Okay. After the blessing, you wear it for a little moment and then uh, is to cure the rheumatism. Okay. Are these articles pre-blessed? Were they already blessed, blessed by a priest before you purchased them? No, no. After they buy, you go to see the Godo priest. Got and it. And then you bless it. Okay. Most of the animals, after they die, before they are brought here for preservation. So this one is a tail, cow tail. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the long black one is from us. Mm -hmm. So in the traditional music, uh, people are using it to dance it. The traditional music. But the Vodou priests are using it to command the spirits. You can only to see. We have the head of Babon here, yeah. monkey, angel, bats, and torches. This stone is a natural stone. Okay, we call it Sokwe in our language. Sokwe is a thunderstone. Okay, a thunderstone in the old time, our grandfather used it like a man to buy. But uh, in the medicine, we use it to cure rheumatism again. Okay. If you have the stone, you put it in water, on the water and then you take bath. After taking bath, you pass the stone on your body. Different kinds of uh, snakes, viper, cobra, and uh, For example, the head of viper and then the head of uh, cobra. The two plus a leaf, okay, we make in a border and then you cut the body sp uh, small, small. You put the border inside. It's a vaccination against, against the snake bite. Blade, cut to the powder, uh, to to I you build up a tolerance and then yeah. the snake bites you. It's like a vaccine. That's incredible. So, this dog, people are call it voodoo dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, but here is not a voodoo dog. It's just a decoration. Mm -hmm. That's a souvenir in the market. Okay. Okay. But if you, if you go inside, you will see again this dog inside. Mm -hmm. But inside is activated. They're activated. Okay. It's to protect all of the family. Okay. Bring a good luck of uh, all of the family. Ah, uh, so they would activate one of these dolls in honor of a family member. So yes, like by protecting yeah, it's this, not it would... okay, oh. yeah, it's just a decoration. You have not a spirit inside. Yeah, but the ones inside that look like that, yes. those may be activated. Yeah, it's activated. And they'll symbolize a family member. So they'll take care of the voodoo doll, and then the family member will also be taken care of. Yes. Got it. It's just like the family's stuff. It takes care of every member of the family. Yeah. Once activated, like the spirit there will protect the house. And if, if someone steals one of those voodoo dolls and does like harm to it, then that family member gets hurt? The voodoo will punish them. Okay, we we'll punish the person. Yes. It's not affect the family member. No, no, no. It's not the family member. So someone, so someone like cuts off the head or something of one of the ones in there. It won't affect the family member. The family member's head will still be there. Yes, yes, it will affect Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, that makes sense. This one, I concern the twins. Okay, in our tradition, the twins is like a, a god. See, if uh, one mother has a twins, but uh, the twins uh, is died, the mother come to buy this dog. Mm -hmm. Then we go to see the Vodou place. The Vodou place put the spirit of uh, the child died on the dog. Mm -hmm. And then the, the mother take uh, this dog like uh, his uh, son child. or his child.
do they also take care of them for just like a year or so and then let it go or do they keep taking care of them for the rest of their lives? No, no, it's for forever. For, forever. Oh, okay. okay. If uh, the mother died, another person in the family can take Continue. This metal we call it gong in English. And then in our language it's a gatigo or gago. So in the old time our grandfather used it to send the messages for the villagers. So the person tapped like this. And then we talk louder for the people. After talk, we tap like this, it's finished. But we use it in a traditional music again. For example, Go inside after we continue. Okay, lead the way. <laughs> Okay, you wait for a little moment. I will more, I don't know. Okay. This statue is for the father who has taken the market. Okay, the name is Azondo. Azondo. This father has created the market. Oh, his father created the founder of the, the fetish market. The founder, yes. And then he, he created the market after the Second World War. That's after the Second World War. Mm. That's 1945 going. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, they call it masquerade. Oh, a masquerade costume. Yep. So here we call it a gungun. Gungun. Yes. Mm. Actually represent the spirits of the ancestors. Mm. The, the collective ancestors. Yes, collective mm. ancestors. So whenever you see a gungu anywhere, that is what it does. So we do it as a festival, mostly in, in Benin. We celebrate it every January. Oh, wow. And even in Nigeria, it's also observed. The gungu cuts across Togo, Benin, and the Yoruba tribe. In Nagana, though. No, Ghana doesn't have. Uh, okay. And is it believed that this is the collective um, ancestry of all those different tribes, or mainly just the Yoruba people? The Yoruba people. Okay. Okay. This picture represents the the thunder god. Mm. Okay. This god I decide if uh, it rains or no. If you want to, to have a good report in agriculture, again you pray for this god. This is the god of thunder. Okay. So uh, it's also God of uh, agri. If you if if, uh, if a farmer, got it. God of agriculture. Oh. If a farmer yeah. wants uh, plenty farm produce, like. Oh, okay. And then the iron iron God here is a God of war and justice. One foot. The real one, and then this is the uh, representation of uh, this God. Mm. So all those that uh, their work of life involves metal, mm. they always periodically come to pray. And, Sacrifices. All those that use metal in their work, drivers, soldiers, doctors, anybody that makes some metal in their work of life, must come and pay obeisance. Them that you call, you may also. Legba is the potato god, and then fertility god again.
like a decoration you can put it inside your home but if you have this one inside is to against the bad spirit like for instance the parrot you know parrot mm -hmm. parrot let me parrot. see parrot, parrot. Parrot. Yeah, parrot, that one they use it if you want to know how to sink very well mm. okay. for example you have the owl here yes okay the owl we use it to do one product against the bad spirits mm -hmm. with the witchcraft. Mm -hmm. uh, the lot of uh, our product is on the powder. Mm. Okay, it's on the powder, and then this powder you can use it with uh, perfume or water, or you can cut small, small the body and then you put the the powder inside. Powder.